I spent most of yesterday messing around with this and I started by building the uh, test baffle, which is eight inches wide, 24 inches long, and it's a piece of three quarter inch uh, particle board. So it's not the final thickness, that, it, but I don't think that matters that much. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I wired up a crossover and that is a second order, very rudimentary one at around 3500 hertz and I ran my first sweep using that. And I should say up front that everything that you'll see here is gated at five milliseconds. That was my first reflection from this location. I also had the microphone fairly close to the uh, speakers, about, I guess, maybe 20, 24 inches away. So less than a meter. And, you know, the response on the second order looked pretty good. Um, really good, actually. You know, there's only a five decibel deviation in it. But what troubled me was that little peak at, what was that, around 3,500. So I did some investigation by isolating each driver with, with the crossover still connected. And I measured the woofer and I measured the tweeter to see how they look on their own. And I could see that the peak was coming from the woofer at around 4K, it's really peaked up there. And I figured that maybe a way of getting around that is shifting the uh, crossover frequency down. So I rummaged through my parts again, and I managed to find the parts to make a third order crossover on the woofer. And that took care of the majority of the problem. This is the woofer measured again with that third order filter on there. And you can see that that peak is much diminished I also made a slight change to the second order filter that's on the tweeter, and that gave me the results that you're looking at right here. Now you can see the front of the speaker. I've just got the drivers mounted on the surface, so I wanted to see if diffraction might have been causing some ripple there. So the first thing I tried was to put some tape around the tweeter so that it ramps it down to the baffle face. And I ran the sweep again, and that actually looked worse. And, you know, thinking about it some more, you often see foam around tweeters, especially ones that are behind grills, okay? And I figured I couldn't, you know, it couldn't hurt for me to try that out here. I had some foam, I got some double-sided tape, and I stuck it on in three pieces around the tweeter again and ran the sweep again. And that looked a little bit better than the green tape, but really not much better than what I had before without any of that stuff on there. I forgot to mention that I also did a first order a crossover on here on the woofer and the tweeter to see what I was getting there. And, and that's what you're looking at here. Again, not too bad, but I think that the response that I'm getting from the third and second that I settle on is a lot better. So I'm happy with my crossover response looks good and I actually played it using some YouTube music so I don't get a copyright match on it and it sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. 